Haribo, and welcome to lesson 21 of basic Murdung instruction. Today we continue and finish the second of the two-part series which constitutes the five-part Kirtan progression. In the first part, part one, we went over the first two parts of this Kirtan progression. That first mantra was Dha, sorry, Ke, Keti Gidhere Ta, Dha Ta Dhe, Dha Ta Dhe. Ta ti 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 ta. And it sounded like this. Okay? And then the second piece that we already reviewed was the swing kaherva mantra that follows immediately after that, which goes. Dei ketiri ka dage dei dage. Today we're going to cover the last piece of this, which is where the kirtan goes from medium pace all the way to the exciting conclusion, the fast pace. So, part three is where we start to get really excited about this now. We're starting to go into a medium, really kind of trucking along, the moving, moving faster kind of pace. And the mantra for that is as follows. One thing to remember from last time I mentioned that these last few parts of the Kirtan progression have a swing tempo to them. So it's not straight one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, so you heard that in the mantra that I recited. It's important to keep that swing feel in it. It really makes it a difference. It really uh, makes it more alive, I feel. So let's go and learn the third part of this progression. Now, this de is going to start with the index finger closed on the right or the dia side, like that. De, de, de. And then the re, of course, with the other three fingers. De, 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 ta. De, de, ta. That's it. That's the first line. De, de, ta, ke, ke, ta. Now, in this mantra, the marker beats are the, the first K in each stanza or couplet or part of, of this couplet, basically. Alright? So that's the real slap beat that you have to put in. Now, the last part, of course, is I love the symmetry of this mantra. It's very easy to do on the right side because it's almost exactly the same each time. Alright. is it, it starts with the index finger closed. Okay, so the whole month of together, we're going to do it a little bit slower and then we'll speed up. We'll do a few cycles.
That's part three. Te re ta ke ke ta te re ta ke ke ta du. In part four of this kirtan regression, we start to go into a subdivided mantra. So that was eight beats long. One, two, three, four. Te re ta ke ke ta te re ta ke ke ta du te re ta. So you see how it's eight beats long. Now we're going to a mantra that's more or less four beats long, and the mantra in its entirety is. Tiri kakati gita, tiri kakati gita, tiri kakati gita, tiri kakati gita. Now let's break it down. Again, it's only four beats. One, two, three, four. Tiri kakati gita. So tiri is like dere in the previous mantra. Tiri kakati. So it's simply index finger first, and then close all other fingers. Tiri. So both of these ka is ke plus ta together, ka together, and both of these are hard slaps. This is a two slap, one open kind of mantra. Only one open at the end, so you'll hear that as we go along. So let's do this cyclically. We'll start slow and then we'll go faster. Tiri ka ka ti gita. Now, that makes part four. The last part is a simple mantra you may have heard a million times, but let's make it formal and clear. A very simple variation of the fast kaherva, four beats, and this goes: de ta kati gita da de ta kati gita da de ta kati gita da de. One, two, three, four. De ta kati gita ka de ta kati gita da de. So let's break it down. De ta ka. The ka here is the marker beat. It needs to be the nice crisp crack slap that the left side is. De ta ka. Okay. De ta ka. And then the rest. E gi da da. E gi da da. All right. So let's go again. De da da. E gi da da. That's it. That's the whole mantra. Let's go through it step by step. We'll do it cyclically at a slow speed and then faster.
Okay? And it goes on from there. So this, you have now covered all five parts of the two-part, sorry, the five-part kirtan progression. And this was in a video series of two. This is the second video. Let's now talk about how to apply the full progression to a kirtan. So you've learned all three parts, and we did the last three today. Let's start with part three, go through the rest, and see how they build on top of each other. So at some point, when this, this, the bhajan is going on, the, the song is being played at a certain speed, it's time to move on to the next speed, and you would start with number three, then go to four, and then five. Let's go ahead and put those all together so you see how it can flow together. together one after another. All five parts have been covered and I'll cover them all again just to cap it all off. The first part is ke keti gidhereta ta ta dhe ta ta dhe. I won't go into detail, you can go back to the first part of the series to see the, the full detail of these mantras. Let me go ahead and play all five of them again just to conclude. one after another. Please go through and make sure you learn how to play each one of them before you go on to the full progression, but once you do, it'll be a wonderful experience where you can take a, a kirtan from one month or to the next, from one speed to the next, all the way through. If you keep it real steady, everything really flows well. Hopefully you'll appreciate playing this simple variation with other people who are playing the the same way. Now, as with any of these mantras, you can, of course, insert decorations or more complex variations of any of these mantras at any time, according to your skill level and how appropriate it is for the particular kirtan that you are playing in. So, for example, may be a very energetic and high speed, loud, loud type of kirtan, you may want to tone it down sometimes and do it like something like this. And in this case, I'm playing with the little fingers rather than the whole hand to, to make the sound a little softer. So there's many different types of variations you can place upon this progression but I recommend start with the basic progression and 
learn it real well before you move on to any further detail enhancement, any further uh, decoration that you might add to this. Thank you very much for listening. Have fun. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Amen. Mm-hmm.